Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cookie Tree Tribe. And yes, we left off in a little bit of a moment of panic considering we have the unexpected ingredients of Reese here who popped up with her wonderful coal to just slather over everybody. And we have not yet managed to snag a single spotted child even though, even though the Nishling gods Tata and Lala are doing their best to help their sister goddess by starting off her tribe. But there is no need for panic. I definitely was panicked last time, but I am not panicked now because I have had a series of wonderful epiphanies about how we can still save this batch of cookies. So just a quick reminder in case you guys are coming in and you're like, what's going on? I will no longer be repeating the rules for what we do in our niche challenges because it used to take me a good solid seven minutes. So what you guys can do instead is look in the video description and you will find a link to the Google document with all of the rules, links to the playlist, links to cool things that I think you guys would enjoy, and a link to our wiki, which is still under construction. Our patrons are really the ones doing the amazing legwork on pulling that all together. And hopefully we'll be able to get to the point where we can like update the family tree and update a plot synopsis of what's been going on in our different episodes. But the wiki is there for anybody who wants to contribute on it. And for anybody who comes in and you have no idea what to do, start at the beginning and then you will understand because we have things to do. So moving on. Okay, even though she's unexpected, I think Reese actually, actually, even though she has drawn Tata's attention away with only six days left for him to live, she might help us out here. Uh, because Yuki, or excuse me, because Lala, who's currently in her female form, so she's Lala, not Yuki, which is her male form as one of our Nishling gods. Uh, really cool god too, but you guys probably know about them uh, from the previous niche episodes, of course. Uh, I just really love those two. Anyway, Lala and Tata are kind of like god siblings. So it's not like there's a lot of jealousy. It's not like there's going to be uh, Lala feeling miffed that Tata has run off with this random female who had the derp snout that he loves so much. She is just gonna roll her eyes and continue to try to give birth to a spotted nicheling baby. So it's not a big deal that Reese is actually now carrying Tata's child. And also because it's Tata, he can breed with any nicheling he wants, any nicheling he wants. Once he dies, the rules say that only the uh, spotted nichelings can breed in our tribe. We don't have a spotted nicheling right now. Like we could only breed with a spotted nicheling. So that we have two fallbacks. One, Tata can breed with whoever he wants. He saw Reese, he tackled Reese and was like, hey, you look beautiful and wooed her in the shadowy like grasses here. And I think what we're gonna do is invite her into the tribe. We can invite any nichling into the tribe that we want, but we can only have the spotted nichlings breed except for the rare occasion where we have gods reborn in our tribe. That is a worthwhile twist. So in a twist of fate, Reese might give birth to a spotted nicheling. Maybe. We're going to go ahead and invite her into the tribe if she'll stick around. We will plop her down on the nest and we'll see if we have any luck getting a spotted baby out of her. And that might, despite Lala having put in some hard effort here, that might actually save the tribe. And the second fallback we have is that Lala still has a few days left to live, so we still have a chance to probably get at least two or three more babies out of her, probably two since she has six days left. But the third fallback we have is actually Potato. As long as Tata is alive, he can breed with anybody he wants to try to start the tribe. Because he's a god, I don't think he would feel weird about breeding with his daughter. As weird as that sounds, this is niche. That's just the way things go. Now, Potato also can have the mutation of getting dots. Tata has the mutation of getting dots. And then if we put the two together with her recessive dots, Potato might actually be the official mother of the tribe with like Lala ending up being the grandmother instead of the actual mother of the tribe. And then of course, all of them following Mies, the cookie goddess. So we have 
three fallbacks to save this batch of cookies. And if all three of those things fall apart, well, four actually, because then we could still search out a spotted mate. And as long as we find a spotted mate, any of these children could mate with any, any nicheling who is spotted and carry on the cookie line. We have four fallbacks. I am now calm. This is not like mixing flour and like, like, like mixing up, say your salt and your sugar. This is not like adding half a cup of salt into a cookie batch where you thought you were adding half a cup of sugar. We can still save this. I hope. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, no spots. Not good, no spots. Wonderful, thanks, Reese. I really wanted that illness spread through all of my nichelings. Uh, we had little Coco, who I'll go ahead and name, well, Coconut is actually a type of cookie. So Coco, I'm sorry, you're adorable. You can't keep the name Coconut, but I will go ahead and I'm going to rename you. How about, um, let's rename you. I need to give them, I'm gonna run out of like vegetable names. Let's go ahead and rename you Cumin. There we go. Because if anybody tries to make a cumin cookie, I don't want to hear about it. You guys can keep your cumin cookies to yourself, and I don't need that name for a future, like, uh, uh, cookie nicheling. Not happening. All right, so that's done. Let's go ahead. Celery, if you can invite into the tribe. There we go. So now Reese is here. She needs to hurry up and have a baby. And we'll see if that works. Uh, I need more nesting material. That's actually, like very very important so let's see if non can help out with the nesting material pepper is going to try to help out with the nesting material he got one piece i need a lot more nesting material all right celery is going to help out with the nesting material um tata -ta now only has four days left to live which is not good potato is going to come down tata -ta is going to like ooh, actually okay uh, oh, we have Takutpa. I need to rename that little guy at some point, too. La La Ra is going to step right over here. Tata -ta is going to go ahead and step right over here. We're going to go ahead and Lala and Potato. Potato has been called forth, and even though she is Tata's -ta daughter, she might officially start the tribe. We're starting with a potato, which would be kind of amazing. So now that she is an adult, she is called forth to learn about her divine heritage, born from two gods, hopefully going to carry on the welfare of another goddess. And we will allow Potato to distribute some sort of trait that uh, we think will be good for her. We haven't really unlocked any, we haven't really unlocked like anything useful. She has nut cracking with her cracker jaw, so I feel like she'd be confident with that. She doesn't really, she's never run into anything where she needs to defend herself. So now that we have Lala and Tata explaining the seriousness of her heritage, her divine heritage, and the divine hopes of carrying on the cookie goddess's line that are possibly on her shoulders too, I think instead of having a trait that would have anything to do with health or anything to do with being able to be more fierce an attack, Potato would instead think about having brown pattern because if she can have a spotted child who has the cookie chip spots, like the chocolate chip cookie spots, that would probably be revered as one of the most beautiful types of spots that you could have in the tribe. So we're going to let her have brown patterning and then boom. All right, there's one, there's two, and now we need to, Reese only has a few days left to live. She has purse nut recessive. Both her paws are deformed. She has melanism recessive. She's not ideal, but on the off chance, she could possibly give us dots. That's there. And then uh, we'll say she'll be, maybe this is her opportunity too, to have runner's leg uh, for her children. Maybe running into Tata with her wonderful face, which he actually finds. Nobody likes stirrup snout. Like nobody likes stirrup snout. People get so upset when I when I uh, really cherish a derp snouted creature. So I really feel like this is her opportunity to stand out. This is her chance to be able to be under the regard of Tata, an actual nicheling god, and maybe even have her children be born a little better off than she was. So we're going to have her move over here and gather up nesting material as quickly as she possibly can. I'm going to go ahead and try to gather nesting material here. We're going to try to gather nesting material here. And then I'm going to get Tata over here. 
So he's close by, but not anywhere where hopefully- Ah, Celery, I need him to move you because you have that sickness. Fooey, all right. Well, we've got three pregnant females. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. Oh my gosh, we still don't have spots. And the illness is spreading. Tata, -ta, now you literally have one day left to live. I can just hear Lala. Like, Lala probably has this huge tirade of, like, frustration that she is just like, well, would you look here? Look at what you've gotten done. We're supposed to be helping our little sister goddess, and you just had to go and see what that, that derp-snatted female was up to. Well, look at what you've done. Like, I really feel like Lala would really be chewing him out right now, because this is, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> All right, Potato. Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to have another child before Tata passes away. So Potato is potentially carrying the only like heir to all of this. And we need to rename this little guy, Takuta. We're going to rename him to... Um, let's go with... Hmm. Let's go with... Uh, how about... How about Napa after Napa cabbage? There we go. I should have pulled up a list of vegetables before I did this, but that's okay. Uh, all right, can he literally do anything? He can collect and he can attack a little bit. So he's gonna try to help out by gathering up nesting material. Uh, let's see, we already harvested all from that. So now celery, I'm gonna send celery out here and she's gonna, yay, she found another tree. Kuman's gonna scooch over so hopefully she won't get anybody sick. Uh, Reese only has a couple more days left to live, so she sort of needs to hurry up on that whole collecting nesting material thing. Maybe it can be done, maybe it can't. Oh my gosh. And Lala is going to jump over, and she's going to have one last child with Tata, because this is, ironically, thanks to the fact he just couldn't stay focused, going to potentially be his final day. And Reese is still just trying to gather nesting material. Oh boy, okay, so unfortunately, my friends, it is the end of Tata's reign. He has left behind not a single spotted nicheling. That gene is proving immensely difficult to breed in, even though it's supposed to have such a high opportunity to show up. He has left behind one love-struck race who just cannot believe that she managed to attract the attention of the god Tata, which is quite the stroke of luck in her opinion. He has left behind one very irate Lala who feels that somehow this must be his fault and he has left behind potato who may be potentially carrying the the beginnings of our tribe we just need one spotted nicheling just one that's all i'm asking for oh and i should have had non come down and breed with them but uh, i just didn't occur to me because once tata passes away we can only breed with spotted nichelings so lala the very last child that you and tata are going to have any luck? And Tata, thank you very much for showing up so unexpectedly. It'll be interesting to see if over the course of everything you become reborn yet again. But cool, cool twist, cool twist, my friend. This hopefully is a way where he can redeem himself as the trickster god and show that he is trying to care for Mies, the cookie goddess, his sister, in his own unique way. You're alive! <gasps> Holy cow! You guys! Tata's alive! He has clung to his his life and we have a male! We have a spotted male! I think that this would be Lala. Now Lala has a bit of a sniffle, but I think that this is her way of, of like sniffling past her cold, which she has now gotten from Reese, so that would just make her even more cranky, and kind of like over her shoulder, like pushing the grass away, still sitting on top of the nest with a new baby cradled in her arms, and kind of yelling out from the grass where Tata, as a trickster of course, is not actually dead, even though he probably let everybody, all of his children, give him some sort of remembrance, he probably pulled one of those things where he's like, uh, pretends to, to have his final breath and lays there for a minute and everybody starts crying and then he just like pops back up and he's like, fooled ya, oh trickster god, look at what you did, I was totally on pins and needles there, and we have a spotted nicheling, and he's a male no less, which is good because we actually have several females. Oh, okay, don't die. Don't die, little guy. But we have done it. 
I am so relieved. Where is my list of cookie names? Give me just a second. I was, I guess I didn't show a lot of confidence that this would actually happen because I didn't actually <laughs> have my list of cookie names pulled up. That doesn't bode well for confidence, does it? But all right, so we have a little boy. He has been born into our tribe, the very first spotted nicheling. Good grief, that was more dramatic than it needed to be. But we are actually going to go ahead and he is going to have the name. I think this guy's gonna be Almond. Uh, which normal well, almond's normally like a girl's name, but you know what? It's gonna be almond. I think that that's just a good name for him. Plus, I had a delicious almond cookie today, so there you go, almond. He has been born into the tribe. He's very dainty. He's got double velvet paw. He's got cracker jaw. Uh, he's got white and black fur, so he's sort of like a mix of the two. And he has got dots through and through with the black horns and white pattern. So basically, he's a perfect mix of Tata -ta and Lala. And he is going to be the first one to really be touched by Mies. And he is going to inherit the role of being the patriarch of the tribe. So... Ironically, that means when he comes of age, anybody who is not his mates, we have to release. Uh, and I think that would mean like everybody, all the males, we'll probably keep all of the females as his potential mates because we have a lot of them. But that means we would release the boys. We could invite them back in later if we wanted to. But that's how we control population in this tribe is that every time a new matriarch or patriarch comes to reign, like the old one dies and then the new one becomes an adult, then that is when we banish anybody who is not his mate or his children. Uh, not to be mean, but just because it's like, hey, it's my house now. Bye, bye siblings. You need to move out. Kind of that feeling. So, all right, Almond, welcome. Welcome, little guy, to the tribe. I'm so relieved. Potato, I think, would be a little bit deflated not to be the mother of the tribe. Uh, well, she still could be, potentially. She could try to, to pitch as Almond's, like, prime mate, so we'll have to see how that goes. But now we need to get some food. So I think Potato is actually going to be more hungry than anything. So we'll go ahead and let her get a little bit of food. And then uh, Nan can actually go ahead and we'll let her get some food soon too. Pepper is going to help out trying to collect. Nan can gather this and she can't really crack but she tried to crack that open. However, Kuman can actually crack things open so we'll pop her back here. She's probably going to give Nan her cold. A little frustrating but we do have a lot of females so maybe it will be okay. We have some things to collect over here. Wonderful. All right. Oh, and Maroka. Maroka, I'm sorry. I didn't give you a name either. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and name you... Hmm. Well, ginger. There are ginger cookies. So we're going to go with fennel. And again, you can, don't come at me with your fennel cookies. I, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> like, not my, not my thing. Uh, all right. So there we go. Phew. All right. Well, the tribe is saved after all, guys. That was a little bit unexpected. Reese needs to get on a nest, like, now. Um, will she be able to do that? We're going to have Lala. Lala also needs to get on a nest. We're going to have Lala come down. And... Reese, I really wanted you to have a baby. Ah, but we don't have enough nesting material. Tata, can you help out with getting... Okay, we just need like one... Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep, I don't think that Reese is actually going to get to have her child. That's a little sad. She gave us a cold and no kid. <laughs> okay. Not quite what I had in mind. Not part of the plans. Also, we're about to starve to death. This is fine. This is fine. But we have now had, thankfully, a new batch. We've got a, a new wonderful birth in the tribe with little almond. That is fantastic. He is going to be the patriarch of the tribe. The cookies are saved. So we have not mixed up our, our sugars and our spices. We're going to have a just fine, just fine batch. But all right, I don't want, I actually don't want Lala and Tata to die right now because that'd be a little bit of a sad thing to end on since we had such a good time. <laughs> so I'm not going to actually 
do the next day. I want to stop here because I'm going to miss these two and they have done a great job contributing to the tribe. Very sad that Reese never got to have her baby and I think that may be a story that Almond will actually grow up hearing about. Like, oh, there was a, a possible another sibling that could have been a new a new member of our tribe but we never got to meet them. Another Tata blessed child. And I think he would be sad to hear that so maybe during Almond's lifetime he'll believe in really the nest. He is supposed to be the patriarch of the family after all. So perhaps his goal, and it might be fun for me to be able to have a goal for each of the patriarchs and matriarchs, but I think his goal will be to make sure that the nest is always ready for the new children of the tribe. It's very important for the lineage of the tribe to have new children after all. So he may believe you always got to keep that nest ready, so gathering up grasses will be very important to him. And in the future, I do want to try to move to 12 different islands. And this island just cries out for us because it's got literally a tree, like, like pointing the way to the next island. Uh, I do want to move to new islands. And I, I think you can have more than three trees that bear nuts per island. So they want to continue to try to search for trees that have more things. Um, and I'm going to have to double check because I, I think there was a couple other things that I was going to try to do as personal challenges just to keep things interesting. It might be kind of cool to try to like pick two or three fun mutations to go after. Uh, that might be kind of fun to like try to unlock a few of the other mutations. Like what about toxic body? That could be kind of interesting to have cookies that look like that. Huh. But I don't think you can have spots in toxic body at the same time. No, I think you can. I just haven't seen toxic body in so long. Anyway, I'm going to mull over what kind of challenges I want to give myself to sort of make things even more interesting. For now, it is simply trying to keep these spotted nichelings alive and move to 12 islands. That's a good place to start, I think. A very good place to start. So, all right, little almond, rest well. Let's have one last day to say hello to Yuki slash Lala and Tata. And I'm very sorry for Reese. I wish we could have seen your child. Uh, but that will be a tragic story that will shape Almond's directing of his family and the tribe from here. So I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to leave a like for little Almond and give him a little nut by leaving a like so that he'll have something to nibble on as he gets ready to become the patriarch of the tribe. Let me know what you think in the comments about the way things have turned out. Uh, and if you haven't yet joined our Nicheling Pantheon, and become one of the watchers of our Nicheling adventures, do please consider subscribing because there will be so many more coming. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.